Hi folks, today we're talking about the Cloud Access Software 20.10 and the auto offload feature that was recently released which is really bringing tremendous value to work from home environments in particular and making the configuration much easier for people grappling with network bandwidth challenges but also wanting to keep that color accuracy. So what we have here is a simple demonstration setup. We're using a Wacom PTH660 uh, connected into an RTX server and we're running a simple drawing application to show how you can maintain color accuracy when you're doing things like drawing but then switching over to the GPU acceleration for animation and the high pixel rate application so that you can still use those over narrow bandwidth networks. So let's jump right in and show the demonstration. So here we have a desktop and we're using a drawing application called Speedy Painter and while I can just draw with um, standard um, drawing, what Speedy Painter allows me to do is rerun through um, an existing drawing and it emulates all the drawing commands, which is really awesome for when we want to do repetitive benchmarking, we can just uh, continue and run this application. So what we'll do is we'll run the drawing application um, in all the different modes that's supported by PCIe in terms of uh, GPU offload and auto offload. And then what we'll do is we'll compare uh, the drawing results. So that's the one the, um, use case. The other use case we talked about was animation. So here we have the tulip. And if we just run it through a simple video animation here, this drives a lot more pixel and potentially a lot more network bandwidth. So we can compare the profile of this to uh, yeah. when the, we're using GPU and CPU offload. Okay, so we've run several tests and let's take a look at uh, the results comparing the auto offload mode of PCOV IP Ultra to the other modes. Okay, so the first graph here shows a four minute timeline where we used Speedy Painter and emulated the Wacom drawing operation using the auto commands um, available in the Speedy Painter application. So starting with the light blue line along the bottom here. Um, this is when we're using GPU offload with uh, Chroma subsampling, and you can see the bandwidth is extremely low, below 100 kilobits per second. The graph shows a maximum of three megabits per second uh, on the uh, vertical axis here. Now the pink line, which is the PCOVIP auto offload mode, and the blue line, which is the PCOVIP CPU offload, um, are almost coincidental. And that's because due to the very low pixel rate uh, when one is doing a typical drawing activity, uh, there's no need to uh, compromise the color accuracy. So for a small bit of additional bandwidth, still well within uh, typically under one megabits per second, we're able to deliver uh, highly color accurate drawing operations uh, using a Wacom tablet, which is great news. Okay, so what we've done in the second plot here is we've extended the timeline for another four minutes. And in this four minutes, we're doing the animation, which was that rotating tulip diagram. Uh, that was a JPEG that is basically rotating around uh, every few seconds. So the light blue line you can see now is, is a quite a bit more, but still under a megabit per second for the H.264 Chroma subsampling mode. Um, and this is where we start seeing the benefits of PCOIP Ultra Auto Offload. At about four megabits per second, we're able to deliver a combination of color accurate and then at the very high pixel rates, uh, switch over to the H.264 mode. So overall, we're still using under five megabits per second for all these workloads. And the dark blue line shows what happens if you're using strictly CPU offload, and that would be your most color accurate uh, use case. So for a network bandwidth savings, we're still getting a great efficiency here. Um, we're able to get color accuracy most of the time. And that's why um, you're only seeing about a 10% network bandwidth savings in order offload mode. But that's because your overall bandwidth is really low anyway. And this workload would easily run even over most uh, home networks. So just to give you an idea of where auto offload value really kicks in is I've extended 
the timeline here with another four minutes, so from eight to 12 minutes here, running a video playback. And this is a 1080p video. It's about one minute of content that I loop several times so that you see this repeating pattern here. Now what you see is we're right up to much higher bandwidth requirements for a high quality video playback as you might do with PCOIP CPU offload, which is the dark blue line. So we're up to about 70 megabits per second as the peak and here about 20 megabits in the trough. But in, in auto offload mode, you see we're still running at under 10 megabits per second and fractionally less than that when you're using the PCO VIP Ultra GPU offload uh, with the Chroma subsampling. So what we have is this fantastic benefit without doing any tuning. If you follow the pink line across is the tablet mode where you're drawing is always going to give you color accuracy at low bandwidth. Then we move into an animation where you mostly color accurate and you're still using low bandwidth. And then when you get to high bandwidth requirements, so for example, if you're doing video playback, we, we leverage the GPU offload provided by the NVENC encoder and we get a really good bandwidth efficiency. So here on a home network, if you're under 10 or 20, 30 megabits per second, we're still well within the envelope required without needing to configure the CPU offload mode. Okay, well, that's all for today. And I'm hoping uh, you got a bit out of that and saw the uh, fantastic bandwidth savings that you get by using the new PC over IP Ultra auto offload feature. And you can grab uh, Cloud Access software, of course, from our, our website. And until then, happy PC over IP. Bye now.